Double dragon shit. To tell the truth, I don't really give a fuck about you, yeah I'm top two nigga, but I'm not two, yeah Coulda had your baby mama, I'm two player Told her go to the gala for me and cop two pair One for me and one for my girl, my shorty straight Y'all tune into the This Dope Don't Fix It Podcast I'm one of your hosts, Polak the King I am Gas Mask Y'all see who the fuck we got in here, man 3013, man I'm the third host
Well, we ended up doing She Week Remix, and that went crazy on us. I signed a cloud or whatever, and that was just one of those beats we just couldn't get around to. Yeah. And it still was around, you know what I'm saying? He got a chance to send the beat. Yeah. Breezy hit me up. He ain't know our relationship like that, you know what I mean? So as soon as I heard that beat, it was automatic. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even tell me. He was already like home. Oh, I do so much music with Chad already, you know what I'm saying? Right, as soon as we did the song though, when I was when I was recording, when, we, when I was recording that song, that verse, yeah. um, you know, they had to the see through, I think it was in um, circle. Mm -hmm. So they got to the see through, you know, they got to see through. They got to see me. I'm going to drop it in my head. They can see me and nothing. But it's a whole other room, though. You know what I'm saying? So I just see them going crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking yeah. nothing, nothing love it like uh, that. I knew I was going to do I'm my doing thing. Unusual. But it's nice and slow. It's not like you know, snapping type song where I can put that in the bar like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I see them going crazy. So when I come out, they like, yo. It was like, bro, my tape called Bay. You know what I'm saying? So I said, I said, you know, something about Bay Day. And, 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 uh, Bay Day, Bay K, you know what I'm saying? And that was just crazy. He was like, I ain't even tell you what my album name was. And you just already put it. You know what I mean? So it was like it was meant, you know, definitely. And I still got that um Instagram post up on my page um the night we did. You know, he was like, you know, this a hit, little bro. Definitely. That same night he was like, well, this a hit. He was like, well, this a hit. Salute to that. That shit. Congratulations, bro. In this industry, like, what's some of the misconceptions? What what people think it is that it really means? I mean, it's machines, it's people you know, spend a lot of money, and it's a lot of people, you know, you would think people just popping up out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying, but it's actually big business behind it, you know what I'm saying, don't let it just be, you know, and a lot of stuff we'll have a uh, misconception of, like, the radio stations, you know, maybe thinking, like, because, you know, we from this person, certain place, it should be spent, you know what I'm saying, but when you get around the business, you'll see that the people from, from around here don't own it. You know what I mean? They really from out of town. Like, they really don't, they'll never know who you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, the love push that these DJs do could do. They try to put you in the mix shows, yeah. but they don't really have that much leverage. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of artists right feel now. like it's on the DJs, bro. Like, yeah. the DJs that's at the station, they feel like, man, yeah. bro, ain't really yeah. showing up for the city. You feel me? He ain't really looking out for yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of bigger than that. They, know that. they, are, they, have, they got somebody that they got to go to that get them a the business. Yeah. Yeah. So they just got to play. They yeah. just a personality yeah. crowd. All right, this is what I want to know. So you got Dread the CEO. I ain't going to call you good. Dread the CEO and Dread the artist. So when you in the studio and you making this, man, if y'all ain't heard this shit, man, y'all make sure y'all go listen to this shit, man. Sure. Fuck you on, but when you Dread the CEO, what he be saying to Dread the artist? Like this album, I know, I don't really know if you recorded a lot of songs that was like, nah, I can't put that on there. So like, kind of like tell the people how Dread the CEO and Dread the artist, how they different. I'm the same, so we ain't really no like split personality or nothing like that. I was always who I'm is, you know what I'm saying? So just developing, I developed myself as a CEO, you know what I'm saying? Just learning from the business of it, you know what I'm saying? So if it was a little Dread conversation between an artist and a CEO, it's the only thing is make sure it's original. Make sure whoever you want a song with, make sure they got a BMI. That's the only thing I tell myself. Like, you, you know, you know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? If you ain't got a BMI, if you ain't got a BMI, that mean that you ain't even registered as an artist. That mean you ain't even write your name on a piece of paper. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? So just like with Nice and Slow, I get royalty checks because I feel that my BMI, I had a BMI. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of stuff I had to go through for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't supposed to know that. It was supposed to just be like, yeah, you just own the song. But it was like, nah, real. That's a bro. You got that's a bro. I guess 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 it's business, you know what I'm saying? It's not no halfway, how to do it. Nah, that ain't doing it wrong. That ain't, that ain't doing it. So, now I ain't 
ain't gonna lie, I like the Jesus. Oh, shit, shit. I like quality, man. Like 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 how, how that came about? Um, shout out to my little homie Max, man. He on super, super duper star with you. We was in the studio. We was right here. We was in here. You know what I'm saying? That Lego. You know how we got swag. You know what I'm saying? Like this Miami, man. So, but we was in the studio. That boy came up, you know, let me hear his music. This one of my little homies that been around, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't even know that boy could rap like that, you know what I'm saying? So that boy kicks like, like some Nas type, yeah. type vibe. Anyways, shout out to my dog, um, Beat 2 Plug, Beat Plug 2, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? He sucked the beat and actually made that beat too. So he sent me the packs. Yeah. And then when I get ready to do my um, album or whatever, I hit certain um, producers up and they send me packs. You know what I'm saying? So he sent me a pack at the time. My little homie just came through some of his little pictures. So I was trying to find a beat to get him on. Yeah. He could spit that type of shit. Yeah. So I just was going to make a hook and then have that boy do that. And then I ended up spitting what I'm spitting. You know what I'm saying? We ain't expect it to come out like that though, but I don't I think it's that's how I am though, you know what I'm saying? I can do inspiration. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So if it was a breakdown too, I think my little homie inspired me to go that way. Shout out to my little homie Max, man. Shout out to my little homie Max, man. Shout out to my little homie Max, man. I don't wanna say inspire you like now, because I feel like Really like, like, over here. like I feel like I feel like it's so many rappers that they don't really sound the same. Like you can tell, like when somebody just ain't listening to what's going on. So I don't want to say like who inspired you, but as far as like when you first got into it, like what was your influence and built though? I'm talking like the foundation because I listen to a lot of music. As far as artists who inspired me, yeah, or, 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 or artists who had inspired you, like your, like your foundation, you're like damn. Um, I've been rapping since. This footage on YouTube. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My old boy went to the University of Miami. Made it to the NFL. Our relationship with my mom and all that. You feel what I'm saying? Other than that, my old boy was already a good legend. He grew up in Scott Project, you know what I'm saying? So he made it out the hood, so he was already like a good legend on his son. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that was. Like, I was a good legend, like I was a good legend, you know what I'm saying? So at the same time, I've been already, it was it was always like my old boy, he was like talented, he was about doing this and doing that. It's like, anything. Other than that, I already I, I was in I was like, going through school, I already was doing talent shows and rapping, playing football, anything I could do, you know what I'm saying? Let's take it back then, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take it back, bro. Yeah, bro. You remember the first rhyme you wrote, though? I guarantee you, wanna remember, nigga. I ain't no fake. I meant no mistake. I'm a baby nigga, great. My last name, Cook. I don't need no cook. I don't need no crap. But my dad dropped a jack. That's my first. Yeah. Walk the project. Walk the project. Real shit. I used to walk the project. So everybody come up. Yeah, bro. Spit that shit. Yeah. Spit that shit, bro. Little Nate, spit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, everybody, we asked that. Like, yeah, you walking that around here, yeah, everybody yeah. clapping him up, little nip. Same way. We ran all these boys at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's important. I'm doing my old way to perform. I'm performing right now. So I'm doing this shit. Like, I'm here to do this. I ain't knew no better at the time, you know what I'm saying? It just came from all that ground. You know what I mean? You grow up, you go through your uh, regular just life living, you know what I'm saying? The average little kids was coming up when they came back round, you know what I'm saying? Niggas really embraced it this time. Back then it was just Talk to me a little bit about that feeling. You got that rotation. How that how that even came about? I don't know. I still don't know to this day. Like that was that was cool. That was cool. That was like, what do you want? That was before. That was before. What do you want with me? Like that was before. Nice and slow, right? Like what I could offer to him. <laughs> yeah, this before. Nice yeah. and slow. Like what, what, what could I do for you? Like you know what I'm saying? That's that's the feeling they gave us. Like, we still don't know. We, of course, now we know. You know what I'm saying? It's a mutual respect. We're loving it in the city. 
know what I'm saying? You the young boy, you know, getting the rocket. Like I said, shout out to Major Nine. You know what I'm saying? Major Nine actually had a relationship with him. So football. You know what I'm saying? Got invited out there to book a team, talk to the team, chat with him. You know, stand out kids. You know what I'm saying? They got a relationship with him. Chat. You know what I'm saying? So, well, they have, that was a good move on him because he got that relationship with the chat. You know what I'm saying? So, at the time, we already had no show, brothers, in the schoolhouse. You know what I mean? So, he was knowing of a lot more than we even You know what I'm saying? So, we just had a song. Um, I damn, I need some live right now. We already had, we already put it out. We had put it out for like a week already. I, I got a second verse to that shit. Um, but lost text on one day and was like, me, you, and Dre, you know what I'm saying? And that was something that, and we took that bitch down, and that was like the last song we put out. I'm like, bro, sit in that. Took that bitch down and sunk his ass that she sunk that bitch back. Bro. Bro. That bitch going crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. All right, that's, that's probably a feeling, bro. Yeah, that's like, yeah, but Ross, but Ross, like I say, Ross had a yeah. relationship with Chad. Chad, he let Ross, you see it? Chad done been to his house and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I rock, bro, rock. I remember where I was at when I first heard that, bro. I'm coming out of the uh, mix, though, bro. I'm 28 to 17. I get in the car. And I hear that shit on 99 jams, but I got goosebumps yeah, like it with yeah, me, yeah, yo. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Up, yeah. I got goosebumps like it with me. I'm like, damn, then I heard that boy jump on it. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Hey, that's still, man, still, one of my biggest records right now. Go yeah. out of town, man. I don't even got a point. I'm high in the run, I ain't not. They gonna eat it up. <laughs> Rest of uh, they gonna eat it up. So that's, that's still one of my biggest yeah. records right now. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you, bro, uh, my uh, dream experience. You know, I was in the chat game, so uh, I ain't did nice and slow, I ain't did nothing. Like that. So uh Bird had dropped the um uh, damn, what's the challenge he dropped? Real spirit. So the little dog called me, we got a phone in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey man, you gotta go to Bird Pay, man. Look at these nigga little jerk. I'm like, nah, which which one he is? You know what I'm saying? I was gone, I ain't know. So the other little, I, I think it was some little niggas from Broward. They like, nah, man, that's him right there. So we cut it on, so you know, we all huddled, we huddled on the bump. That's my thing, what I had in the chain game right there. We used to cover, I used to put that bitch on the bump. We used to be watching movies. Oh, shit, we get on that bitch. Dog, it was like so many niggas crowded around, like, yeah, like glued, yeah. like glued to the phone, like, man, little dread on the real spit. I'm like, man, who is he, though? Y'all be quiet, I can't hear him. Dog, it was like, then they start showing me, oh, this is me. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, know who's crazy. Niggas in the chain, I remember Bird, matter of fact, Bird posted somebody in the chain, and he got to be the challenge. Now that you're saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nah, nah, it was motivated in the chain, though. Yeah, I don't want to say, like, you're supposed to be the first chain. But that's what made me do it. I was like, hey. Yeah. Well, fuck that. They yeah, might send me to the, the box, 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 man. I gotta get on this bitch. I'm gonna go to the box, but I gotta pack all this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. That's amazing. You know, God. I would have never thought that. Never niggas thought was standing that. at my door like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, the nigga new dress out, man. Bag it up, man. We trying to watch this yeah. shit. You had to watch that shit like 10 times. I should have to know you That's it, right now. That's it, right now. Get on, Real life. That's how I found out. Cause Sam called me, was like, hey man, this go to bird, man. Look at it, nigga, look great. He about the hottest one on there. I mean, I ain't taking you on, but that's just how he told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I look, I'm like, man, what he look like? Man, nobody know little job. I'm like, man, hold on, let, let me find out. So I asked yeah, the nigga, hey, I don't even know how to work the phone. So they had to scroll it for me. We get to the thing. I'm like, man, cut this shit up. Man, that's crazy. Man, he I slide. I never thought of that, though. Yeah. Be yeah. right now. Shout out Bird, man. Bird yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. After that, I just went back and started listening to all that shit. Shout out that boy Big. He dropping something to him, May, May 27th. Mm-hmm. He dropping on my way. Yeah, bro, going to be on here we, um, next couple of weeks, I think. We're going to rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have four people. Bird, one of the ones who I could really talk to in that same type of vibe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The CEO on the on ship and just at the same time, you know, it's like it's a bigger... Um, it's a bigger challenge for us, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be a part of the people to fail. It ain't really nothing nobody that somebody fail. It's just like I said, you know what I'm saying? We had a little talk before the interview, like, you know, it just people now working it the wrong way, you know what I'm saying?
saying? You gotta pay attention to the people that actually doing it, but at the same time, you comparing us to them, Atlanta and all that coaching from up there, you know what I'm saying? We still got a lot of work. You see me? It ain't nothing that we can accelerate the time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through this shit for real. So, Bird, one of the ones who are who acknowledge that, but like, yo, you kind of about to be the Martin Luther King and Michael Max's of this shit. You feel know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta to preach to him because otherwise, it's like, the you gotta be the ones to do it. You gotta be the ones to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't even preach to them no more. Niggas don't even wanna hear that shit. Niggas <laughs> ain't listening. They yeah. wanna see you doing that shit. Yeah, you gotta bring a nigga to your facility, let him see like, yeah, this is this what I'm doing off of rap music. Oh, you rap you do that with me. You know what I'm saying? Or they gonna think that it is what it would have been somebody trying to fuck them or somebody trying to get them in a fuck up deal. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, nah, bro, it's real people that can actually help you or show you the way. In, in reality, like I was saying with Bird and old me, yeah, nobody for us to really talk to. All right, who we go talk to besides, you know, everybody saying rock, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, it ain't really no well, no facility, no artist to go and talk to nobody to advance themselves or what step to take, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like I said, that's inspiring me to come up with, you know, Team Dread, you know, development, you doing all the development. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Maybach. He one of the first artists that we really believe in. He got the talent. He got a fan base. He ain't really nothing but oh, so Maybach, that's your artist. Maybach, his own artist. Oh, okay. he just developing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we just the ones giving them that game. That's all. We gonna be the ones to do that. Cause ain't nobody finna tell you nothing. Show you how to get no BMI. Tell you how to get your words. Tell you this. What's going on? You get money off the of screen. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, yeah, he loved Team Dread that much. You know what I'm saying? So he'll tell you otherwise. He'll tell you that, bro. Yeah. That's Team Dread, man. That's why we do but stuff like this. I ain't at the situation. Hear. Exactly. I ain't at the situation where I'm signing the artists. I don't let people get the wrong idea. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. It's like, nah, man, we giving that man knowledge. So he can know what to do because he actually already got enough for the family. Whether he know it or not. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for the, for the, I don't have to do nothing like that. But that's how much I'm in the culture. Like, I know at the same time, bro, you gotta, you gotta wear that crown sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, knowledge. It's just knowledge you be missing, man. Like I said, you know, it's a lot of dudes I know who get some money. You feel me? Young dudes. You feel me? Y'all don't know what to do with it. They trying to rap now. You feel me? So, I'm, that's my passion. I know what to do with it. That's why I make money off of rap. So, I can teach these boys how to do that same thing at an early age. You feel me? Because at the same time, we ain't had it. I had to go learn that. Yeah. Feel me? It ain't take me years and years. Like Ross said, Ross took, it took Ross 13 years, you know what I'm saying? Figure it out. It don't take me that long, you know what I'm saying, to figure out what it is. And, you know, I got to give like credit to the game itself because it changed to where you can go live. You can show your fans right there and there, you know what I mean? You can scream music and get paid off of views and stuff like that. So, yeah. okay, let, let me ask you something. Say you on an island for a year, deserve the island. What three albums you taking with you, bro? I know you going for it. Yeah. You going for it. You going for it. You going for it. Look, listen, I'm finna bring Jeezy, Thug, Motivation, one on one. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Gotta bring the one on one. Mm -hmm. I'm finna bring. I can't say nothing. Why not? Say what you want to say. No, no, that ain't that. That's like, that's one. Yeah. Well, you know what you're bringing, Jeezy. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 101 out there. You might have a couple of little islands with you out there. Uh, man, if I'm on an island to survive, and he talking just out there. Nah, you want an island to survive. Yeah, so that's why you bring that love motivation. Back, you you gotta back. take that, though. Jesus, go they ain't leave you. You gotta go kill it and eat it, boy. Yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. That love motivation. I need mean, that card of one. The first card of Give him the snares first. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you survive with it. Ah, he got double motivation 101. The card of one. Last out. He's stuck, y'all. <laughs> He's stuck. He's stuck. I'm thinking he uh, wanted to say T.I. Trick Daddy. That's just my opinion, though. You might want blueprint. Uh, everybody done said yeah. blueprint. Everybody done said T.I. We done had a blueprint every week. Uh, yeah. Okay. We don't have no outcast. We got a couple of them. Y'all got a 
say I got to say it. Um, Boy, he, boy, he, boy, he scrolling through that last out the motherfucker. The first one is, yeah, Jesus, that motherfucker one on one. That was Jesus. Now you get the two and three, boy, that shit get the hurt in. That was one more album you need to rock with. I want to say one of my shit. You got to. Say it, man. Take a 3013. Okay. Definitely. Y'all heard it here, man. Y'all heard it here. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go get that motherfucking that album. Bitch. It's incredible. Yeah, Every I'm a bumping it earlier. It's popping up. Don't act like you don't see it. Yeah. Shit bumping, man. Good. You know it's some late. Good, good album. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Good album, dog. I've been it. Boy. And we appreciate you for fucking with us, dog. Look. We're gonna test some of this, uh, we're gonna test some of the hip hop knowledge. We got a game we call uh, Finish This Rap. Yeah, you got something for me? Yeah, 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 of course I got something for you. You gotta finish it. Okay, okay. Yes, I was going to edit you, so hold on, let me tell you too, man. Hey, he cleared that shit. I'm going to edit you too, man. I'm going to edit you too, man. Hey, look, man, y'all come with that hip hop. I ain't going to lie, this is one of my favorite lines ever. We gonna see if Lil Drake can finish. Fuck bad bitches. Smoke big blunts. Who am I to say? Oh, okay. <laughs> that what I'm trying to tell you, nigga. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that just fit the moment, dog. Yeah. You knew it was gonna get that. You just said one over one over one. You just saying though. You got one for him, or you want me to give him another? Give him another. All right, let me see what we got. Um, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. You got one for him? Six dollars, he sell out. Married to his wife. Yeah. Oh, I, I done fucked my own self up. I know that. <laughs> I done fucked my own self up. I would have caught it. You ain't want, let me get it, bro. All right, all right, all right. I don't know if this before your time, but you should have really been like whamming around this time. <laughs> oh, people don't say whamming. Tell me they don't say I don't know, bro. They crazy. I've been saying super duper. Now it's just, see, I'm in now. Because I've been right. putting hashtag, hey, that's super duper dope. I knew, I knew I ain't just make that up, man. <laughs> Bitches been denying my hashtag. That shit official now, but it's definitely. It's saying, um, uh, this shit one of my favorite artists. He might don't know it. You fold dumb. You should be spending your whole money. But if she offered you, son, you probably tell her no, honey. You too slow, son. You don't know that, though? What I'm spitting ain't gonna make you know, son. So the next time instead of just talking, you should show something. Most hoes that like casinos built it. Anyway, that's MJG Pimp Hard. Oh, yeah. God damn, yeah, bro. He he that old nigga be snapping. Yeah. Them boys snap. That nigga was snapping. <laughs> See, I know a little son. Bro, I told you he wasn't gonna be, bro. He let you know I'm real. I ain't gonna lie, MJG just hard. I can feel like that. Look, yeah, he hard. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Hey, man, this is. If it's dope, don't motherfucking fix it. Mm. Shout out to Lil Dread. Y'all get the album. Run the numbers up. Go to the shows. Support, man. This ain't the old Miami where you can't ride around and vibe with people, man. Y'all come together, man. Support, man. If it's dope, don't fix it. I am gas mask. Pull out the chain. And this. Lil Dread, man. You know where you at tonight until you pull up on you, bro. You know, I'm out of the city right now, man. Y'all gonna have to pull up the team drill head for this, but it'll be open nah, soon. Nah, we can't get that location. It'll be, it'll be open soon. You hear me? Yeah, me in the heart of the city right now. This little chain pulled up. Sir. And hey, shout out to Lil Dread, man. I mean, shout out to Dread. Oh, shit. I was dope, man. Y'all grab it 3013. You know what the fuck it is. 3013.